File uploads can be a pain, but CodeIgniter tries to eliminate some of the more obnoxious parts using the File Uploading class, which is especially helpful for images. File uploads consist of the following process. First, the file form element is displayed to the user. Then, the form is submitted and the file is uploaded. Based on file upload preferences, such as image height and width or maximum size, the file is validated. When validation is passed, the file metadata is available for use. I'm going to allow users to upload cover images of their back issues. First, switch to a terminal and navigate to the root directory of your CodeIgniter installation. Verify that you're in the right place. Next, make a directory that you can use to upload files to. Make dir space upload. Next, set the permissions on that directory. chmod 755 is a best practice. In a worst case scenario, use 777, but this is almost never necessary and not recommended as it's a big security risk. Now that the destination exists, I can go back to the IDE. Open up the magazine controller. I'm going to create a configuration array for file uploads. This also handles validation, so this part is fairly important. There's a comprehensive list of all the options in the user guide at alicelab.com. So starting the configuration array, config equals array. The first step is the upload underscore path, which is just upload. Next, specify the allowed file extension types. Allowed underscore types. We'll set that to GIF, JPG, and PNG. Then the maximum file size in kilobytes. Max underscore size. We'll set it to 250. The maximum width in pixels. Max underscore width, 1920, and maximum height, max height, and we'll set that to 1080. Finally, the upload library can be loaded with the configuration. This load library upload and pass it the config. Then navigate to the form validation. The form validator doesn't actually check file uploads, which is a bit goofy. Instead, I'm going to have to explicitly specify a file upload check using do upload and the name of the form element. If you're uploading multiple files, you will have to do multiple do uploads. If you leave out the name of a form element, it won't work. Finally, I'm going to make file upload optional by checking the files array, then performing validation. As ugly as this looks, this is the recommended method. So I'm going to navigate to the form validation run. I'll start with check file upload equals false. If is set, the files super global issue cover error and files issue cover error not equals four, check file upload equals true. Then we'll change the if on the validation run. If the form validation fails, or check file upload and not this upload, do upload using the key issue cover. We'll wrap this whole section in parentheses and save. The last piece of the puzzle for the controller is what to do with the uploaded file. Just before issue save, get the uploaded file metadata. Upload data equals this upload data. If it exists, set the issue cover to the file name. If is set upload data key file underscore name issue issue underscore cover equals upload data file underscore name. Save the controller, then go to the magazine form view. Immediately following the echoed validation errors, I'll need to explicitly display the upload errors. Yes, it's separate from the form upload. PHP echo this upload display errors. And it's going to take two arguments, which is the opening div class equals alert, alert dash error, and close then followed by the close div. Close the PHP tag, and then I will need to switch the form open 
to a form open multi part to handle the uploaded files. Before the submit button, let's create the form element for the file upload. div php echo form label cover scan then issue underscore cover as the name close the php then php echo then i'm going to use the form helper form underscore upload with the name of the field as an argument form upload issue underscore cover save then go back to the browser let's click add to see the new file form Let's create issue number 5 of Sandy Shores with the published date of 2013-06-01. Click Save, and it should be successful as the file upload is optional. Let's go back to Add, and add issue number 2 of Sandy Shores with the date 2013-02-01, but this time I'll upload, go to Assets, not an image.txt. Click Open, and Save. It'll be correctly rejected as disallowed. Finally, upload the JPEG version of issue number two. And that should work. Success. Check the upload directory as well. Now, if I go back to the magazine list, I can see that there's a duplicate entry for issue number two, and I can't see the covers. Hmm, maybe I should do something about that.